G'day YouTube, Zippo Enthusiast Down Under here, and I'm back today with a highly anticipated unboxing of Zippo's new copper lighter. Uh, not new, it's been reintroduced in 2022. I think the last time they made one was back in 2003 or 2004 or something like that. So it has been a while since they've brought out a solid copper case. Uh, I myself have been really looking forward to getting one of these, or for them to reintroduce them for that matter, because... The used copper lighters are a ridiculous price if you want to find one anywhere else, and I'd much rather have a new one myself anyway. Uh, I don't have plans to be using this one at the time, but I may be getting another one just to have a good one in the collection and one as a daily carry just to do a uh, update on what they wear like. But anyway, let's get into it. Let's have a look at the back. So this is the limited edition solid copper case with the black plated steel insert. Uh, I'll give you guys a minute to read that there on the back. You can pause it if you like. But that uh, <clears throat> the image on the front clearly shows like the the copper case, the black insert. So that's something new. Uh, we haven't seen Zippo do that before, like a coloured insert. They've only done gold plated and the brass ones to my knowledge but uh you can see the hinges right there on the edge simple but effective it looks cool so let's get into the box a little bit of information there i'll give you guys another minute to read that or pause it if you like the usual stuff Another protective thing, usually don't get these unless it's with like a uh, gold plated lighter, in my experience anyway. And there it is. Gee, that looks good. Black plated steel insert, solid copper case, pre-production model. So I have no idea how many of these have been produced. But I have a feeling this thing's going to be pretty collectible down the road. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I just absolutely had to have this. Alright, let's see if I can get it out of here. This uh, box is a bit difficult. There we go. Best to grab it by the lid to get it out, but I would have rather not have done that. Okay, a little bit of wiggle in the lid, not too much. I actually can't tell if it's black on the inside of the chimney. Because it is very reflective still, like it's like a metallic black, it looks cool. Very shiny. It's nice, uh brushed finish on the copper much like the brush finishes they give us on the brass and chromes uh, except this has been hand finished I believe it says something about that on the back here hand finished so, a little bit of extra care has gone into this one, and I guess we're paying for it because this was nearly $200 Australian, which is quite up there, but for a pre-production model, I feel like this was kind of worth it. There we go, the solid copper stamp. C of 22, so March. It's got a uh, flat bottom, like the brass and armor zippos do, so that's cool. Very nice finish. I love the color of the copper too. And uh, I think just now, having this in my hands and looking at it, I'm definitely going to be getting a second one just to give it a run. See what this plating on the insert lasts like. Uh, how it stands up to some abuse and some, some wear. And also to see what the copper actually tarnishes like. Very interested to see that, so. I will be getting another one and I will be doing an update video on it. So stay tuned for that, guys. Anyway, 
Super happy to have this in my collection. Uh, we'll be getting another one. Update video coming, for sure. Make sure that if you are not subscribed to my channel that you subscribe. If you want to catch any of my upcoming videos or go back and check out some of the other stuff I've released. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up, drop a comment, any questions, any requests, drop them down below too. I'll do my best to get back to everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.